you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe. And if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. My highlight, uh, the vacation. Boy, I just a, a lot of sleep, I guess. I was really boring, Sarah. I'm, I had not, I'm not much going to. Certainly wasn't watching the Red Sox. Um, I, I enjoyed some ginger gold apples, which were incredible. Oh, my God. That is like, yeah. I slept and I ate apples. That, um, that was it. <laughs> And then I'll, I I loved uh, no, the, the, well, the UNH uh, game oh, happened. I'm trying to think wow. of maybe different games that I watched. Wow. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I, yeah, I don't think. Speaking I... of exciting, I think <sighs> that we should we should talk about the excitement of you pick them. That's coming back. Hugh McDougall is due into the Shark Tank here. Yeah, I mean we're trying to work with our copyright office to turn it into Hugh Pickem. Uh, right this year for the, I don't, the 2021 yeah, so season. So far, there's been no success with that whatsoever. No. But will Team Train and Huey win this year, or <laughs> will it be Team Sarah? Have you Which even? I'm flying solo. Okay, I was going to say, do you even did you even pick your team member? Because you're the you're the pivot point person of Team Sarah. Right. You're the one that makes all of the decisions. Right. 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 So. I don't know. I had my sister Susan last year, mm-hmm. but she she was just like I don't know. She wasn't into it. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? I, I thought she'd be like all gung ho for it, but she wasn't. Yeah, no, I think she was just, you know, she didn't want to uh, do anything that would upset the winning combination. Right. Which you've been dominating for exactly three years straight. Yeah. Three year champion. Right, right, right. So, so I think I'm going solo this year. Okay. I'm just going to pick what I pick. You, now, you know, any outsider would say, wow, uh, Hugh and Train versus Sarah. That's just an unfair fight. Uh-uh. <laughs> We're going to get whooped again. I, well, let's hope anyway. <laughs> That's coming up at uh, 740. It's 630 on the Shark. It's Coach Cooper Group. Abba. It's 642. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. I knew that you would love this story. I saw it uh, yesterday, day before, something like that. You were sleeping and eating apples. Yes. That was, time. That was my vacation of, <laughs> of eating apples and sleeping and dreaming about eating apples, probably. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Just this uh, past Friday night, two guys sitting uh, actually across the aisle from each other, the uh, 50-50, uh, you know, the 50-50 raffle at Fenway Park for the Red Sox game. I believe it's like a $10 ticket. It's like, hey, you want to go uh, split, you know, splits in for the ticket? So they split for the ticket. So it was and, only uh, five bucks a piece? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. And of course, it's, you know, it's Friday night, so it's packed. Mm. Everybody is in on the 50-50, and uh, they end up winning. Nine grand a piece. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some serious dough. And Fantastic. of course, you know, a lot of the a lot of the money, the other half of the money goes to the Red Sox Foundation, which is a bunch of terrific charities. But it's just a neat one guy's from California, one guy's from Massachusetts, and such a cool story. It made uh, national news. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. Those fifty fifty raffles are brilliant. Oh, that's it. That's all you do. You know, um I love it. You go to like a high school basketball game. And they do, okay, you can get $1, you can get one ticket, or you can get your entire arm length for three bucks. Yeah. And you know, I always go with the three right, bucks. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. If you've got a fundraiser, let me give you a tip. Do one of those 50-50 raffles. Yeah. Because it makes money. People want in. They want skin in the game. Mm-hmm. And then they get a chance to win, you know, half of the whole pot. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you make some serious dough. And uh, to, to, you know, put it on top of that, the Red Sox actually won that night, which uh, hasn't been happening to recently <laughs> lately <laughs> so it was good luck yeah. Yeah. 66 it's a shark morning show with sarah and a train so you missed governor sununu yesterday train yeah i know i scary scary times uh, happening last week you know he had uh of course they came out with his, his symptoms he had covid 19 like symptoms it was something uh unbelievable it was something completely different i talked to him yesterday and he said he had six covid tests when he was in the hospital he thought for sure he had covid because hmm. he couldn't stand up for more than in five minutes he said yesterday when i talked to him he said i was fine when i laid down but i couldn't even stand up for five minutes yeah wow unbelievable yeah that yeah. that type of exhaustion makes perfect sense um and i just realized i was reading your article here shark 1053.com and on the shark app i i had the, the numbers off because I thought he was down one third of his blood supply, he was down two thirds of his blood su- yeah, supply. Yeah, he had one third. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, he didn't even know that people could survive on one third of blood supply. Ah, you know, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that you either. You can't stand for more than five minutes when that happens. Yeah. But uh, the doctors came in and he said, "You know, the doctors are awesome." He went to Portsmouth Regional and he said the doctors came in and said, "Okay, well, we're going to start blood transfusions immediately." Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like really calm. Yeah. 
yes. Oh. Multiple, multiple mm. blood transfusions. Yeah, I, man, I don't know. I've never heard. I would, you know, you think of a bleeding ulcer, you wouldn't think of it uh, taking up that much of your blood supply. It's a man yeah. phew, situation. I know. It was yeah. a situation. Uh, apparently, it had been bleeding for a long time. Yeah. So I asked him about it. I'm like, it's, you know, it's going to be stress. It's oh, got I would, to be yeah, stress. I would think so. Absolutely. And although, you know, he admits, yes, his job is stressful. He loves his job and all that. It's just you got to be careful no matter what you do. You know, you got to mm-hmm. take time to recharge and sleep and eat apples. <laughs> you know, seriously. Did, uh, speaking of uh, diet, did you ask him if he's on the boiled chicken? Isn't that what they usually do? <laughs> the boiled chicken? They have like chicken soup or boiled chicken or no. something for ulcers? No, no okay. I, d- I did not ask him that. Okay. I mean, I wish I did, actually. But uh. that was a that was a question that the train but, buttermilk usually that's what they say <laughs> boiled chicken and buttermilk that's good, it good for the gut get out yeah. really yeah i did not know that <laughs> no he sounded good he okay, sounded good. like he was healthy and you know everything was back to normal but oh my goodness Whoa. what a scary scary yeah time. i mean when when you know they had the footage of him going in on uh, the stretcher you know the gurney thing uh, it was like whoa what's going on here you know yeah it he makes perfect use, sense yeah yeah he's working from home from newfield so hey gov hope you're doing okay but um, he says hello, by the way. Okay. He missed you terribly. Hello, so, Governor. Yeah, so. Is that a white Russian? That's a white Russian, right? No. No? Oh. White Russian has vodka in it. Oh. Or vodka or gin. Okay. Just Kahlua and milk is something else. Kahlua okay. milk and vodka is another thing. But anyway, I don't know why, but that song reminds me of Kahlua and milk. Okay. <laughs> huh. Sombrero. Oh, a sombrero. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Just after 7 o'clock, and we're talking about drinking here hey, on The Shark. All right. Because that's how we're rolling today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, the brain strain. Time now for the brain strain. We've got prizes, prizes, prizes. Yeah. You. The Granite State Fair, of course, right there at the Rochester Fairgrounds. That's opening up uh, one week from today. That's September 16th Woo! through the 19th mm-hmm. and September 23rd through the 26th. Of course, you get the... Uh, the, the bus uh, derby, the bus crash derby, school bus crash derby. They've got the regular crash derby, smash them up crash derbies. Yeah, and well, they, but, recycled yeah. percussion yeah. is coming to the fair September 17th. I mean, it's a ve- recycled percussion. They're, they're New Hampshire all the way, but they also went to Vegas. You know, they're mm-hmm. getting, they've got the show, Chaos and Kindness. Uh, and they're going to be right there at the uh, Rochester, that formerly known as the Rochester Fair, I know, the it's Granite easy. State Fair. You know, when it's been the Rochester Fair since 1871, right? And then it's the Granite State Fair. It's you're gonna you're gonna probably slip up and say Rochester Fair. It's true. And if you want more information about what's happening, visit GraniteStateFair dot com to get your tickets. But we've got them for you right now. Yeah, get a pair of uh, passes if you solve the brain strain. Twenty five percent of New Englanders say that their favorite teacher taught this subject 25 percent of new englanders say that back in school their favorite teacher taught this subject what is it and it's not gym it's ah, not gym class i'll okay. give you a hint see who it is if you get the right answer then you win the tickets to the fea 877-457-4275 good luck you sarah and a train yeah got those passes to the granite state fair right there at the rochester fairgrounds starting up one week from today september 16th mm-hmm. and uh 25 percent of new englanders well, they say that their favorite teacher taught this subject. 25% of New Englanders back in school said that uh, their favorite teacher taught this subject. What 877 is it? 45 Shark. That's 877 457 4275. Good morning. What's your guess? Uh, I was going to say science. No, it's not science. Good morning, the shark. What do you say? Would it be baking or cooking? Oh, no. The, the, they used to call it home economics, I think, but that's yes. probably a canceled term. Taylor, is it English? No, it's not English. No. no. Try again. Math? No, oh, it's math. not math. Astronomy? <laughs> no. I say English. Nope. Uh, is it shop class? No, it's not shop. How about art class? It is art. Art teacher. Wait, I thought it was... No, it wasn't art. No, it's not art. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about art. <laughs> Sorry to fake you out there. Yeah, wait. I'm, uh, I'm looking right at. I'm looking right at the answer. I said the yeah, wrong one. Yeah, he totally lied to you. But yeah. but but I'm gonna give you a hint. It is one <laughs> of right. the humanities. It's one of the humanities. Oh boy. So it's it's not art, but <laughs> it goes very well with art. Mm-hmm. It's it's if you're artistic, then you might paint and you might do crafts and you might also acting class. <laughs> oh no. 
No. Try again. No. Good morning, the shark. What's your guess? Uh, band or chorus? Yeah, that's close enough. Music. Sure. Yes, yeah, music. yes, yes. Very good. What's your name? I was in both. <laughs> Are you? All right. I was too. All right. What's your name? Carol. Carol, you hang on just for one sec. Where are you calling from today, Carol? Uh, Rochester. All right, Carol. There you go. Yeah. Band, chorus, music. Yeah, music yeah. counts. Let's hear it for the band and chorus <laughs> geeks. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. I was in theater. I was in a mall. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was okay. a lot of fun. Yeah, well, you you were a trumpet right from day one, you and you remain no. trumpet? Oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. Frank Ivino was my very first uh, music teacher in middle school in Hollis, and he was very influential to my entire life, actually. Okay. But then I went to high school, and I had um, uh, my music teacher, Mr. Norris, and then my theater teacher. Oh, she had a salacious relationship with one of uh, someone in the school. Hey. And it wasn't another teacher. All right. That's what I'm just telling you right now. There we go. It was the 80s. Nothing was done. And it was a guy, so everybody was high-fiving him. All the oh. gu- other guys were high-fiving him. Wow. You know? Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Hey. Today, I think back on that, I'm like, oh, my goodness, did that really happen to me? Huh. But, yeah, it did. Huh. Anyway, um, coming up next, very exciting, the return of You Pick 'Em. Who's going to win this year, Team Sarah or Team Train and Team Hugh? Yeah, I think I know the answer to that. No, no, it's going to be me. Hugh McDougall coming up next on The Shark. Oh, my goodness me. Time for you pick them once again. This is the official kickoff of the NFL season, I think. You know, Don't Rod- you think? Roger Goodell doesn't think that it starts until uh, he hears us do our picks right now. I think that, I think that's it. Yep. Oh! Oh, yep. we've got Hugh McDougall, special Woo-hoo. guest, Hugh Wayne. Good morning. Hey, how are you, Hugh? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Elliot Small Engine is the place where uh, Hugh works, and they need help, so go see Huey. <laughs> Are you going to make people um, uh, pick up those big, heavy grain bags like you did when you started there at 16 years old, or what? Um, No, probably not. We'll probably see what not. happens. All right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Anyway, it is time now for you pick them. If you're a listener of The Shark, you know for... For the past three years, right? It's been three years. Three years. Yeah. Unbelievable. I have won You Pick 'em. Now, okay, the first couple of years, I may or may not have had help from our friend Jake, maybe. Mm-hmm. She's standing on a soapbox yes, right now. Yes, I am yeah. currently standing on a soapbox. But then last year, my sister Susan, she was no help at all. We discussed this, Hugh. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to get her involved this year. You're She's just going to go like, solo? Think, I think I'm going to go solo, yeah. Yeah. All right. This I thought it. she would I mean, be more really- opinionated. <laughs> You would think that we would be, uh, that we wouldn't be the ones intimidated. No. It's very intimidating to. On my drive in this morning, I was going, I don't even know if I want to do this for a third year. <laughs> Just fourth. fourth year. Fourth, fourth year. Me. Fourth year. Those losses, they pile up so fast. It's difficult yeah. to. <sighs> To see it, no, but uh, no, yeah. that's it. We just got to get in there. We got a full slate. Got sixteen games, All and right. uh, yeah, we. I think. All right, uh, let's go. Loser, loser picks first. Woo! Loser picks first. I think that's a great idea. So okay. here's we pick how it first works. A lot. <laughs> at about this time, at about this time every week, we're going to get together in the Shark Tank, and we're going to generate the random number generator. Then whatever team is picked, we go one through sixteen. Whatever game is picked. We choose Team Sarah or Team Hugh and Train picks which team is going to win. And then we keep track all season long. That's you pick them. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get the random number generator up on my yeah. uh And I have the first screen. week schedule, week one number schedule uh, for the NFL right now. Of course, starting tonight, game one would be uh, Tom Brady versus the Cowboys. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, one through sixteen. I am ab- and losers pick first. Is yeah, that we what gotta we're go saying? first. Yep. All right, I am about to hit generate right okay. now. Game number two. Ooh. Oh no, kidding! Oh, so, wait. oops. What's that? Isn't game number two? Well, you you tell me. That's, I don't know what uh, I'm doing. The uh, the Indianapolis Colts will be hosting the Seattle Seahawks. I think uh, I I think they're kind of hurting. The Colts are hurting, yeah. um, and I think that's a pretty easy one. I like the Seahawks. I yeah, think. I'm going with the Seahawks. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's one of the the rare. I was looking at this earlier. I'm pretty happy with that. Yep, yep, I agree. Okay. The Seahawks. That was easy. Yeah. No discussion. No discussion. No discussion. Okay. It guarantees a win for the Colts. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> they are. They will have home uh, <laughs> home field advantage. <laughs> Okay, but, well, uh, let's go. I, I like with, it. I like to okay, see that. Okay, Me too. okay. I am pushing generate right now. Game number 11. Oh, boy. I got to do some counting now. 
So that's game number eight is right there. That's nine, ten. So, Sarah, you have, uh, well, you have uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. They will be hosting the Cleveland Browns. So the Kansas City Chiefs. No brainer. No brainer. Kansas City. Here I come. All right. You know why? Because I like the barbecue. (laughs) Now, I was figured it was. Cleveland Rock and Roll. Yeah, yeah. that's where I was going. I know, I know. But I would have gone there, but it's their home turf, right? It's Kansas City home turf. Okay, so now that I've made my pick, which is that you guys think that's an easy pick. Did I make the, the well, one? Well, I was you talking about this with a buddy last night, and this game came up, and I was like, my first instinct was Kansas City. Okay, good. And then he was like, I think it's going to be the Browns mm-hmm. because. The Browns are get, always seem to come out a little hotter than they should, but and still end up going, you know, four and thirteen or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, okay, no, it's going to be Kansas City because right. the barbecues. No, I, I think that's a good pick, Sarah. But it is they have their work cut out for them. Yeah. It's a nice matchup against yeah. uh, right. you know, Baker Mayfield. So okay, yeah. all right, there it is. We uh-huh. shall see who the big winner is. <laughs> oh, I can't wait! Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Huey, for coming in, as always. Thank you. Hugh McDougall from Elliott's Mall Engine. We'll hear from him at about this time every week. Whitney Houston's coming up next on The Shark. Hey, everyone. The heart of the entertainment world. Train track celebrities. Oh, there's so much going on celebrity-wise. First, I got to tell you, Train, while you were out, I saw the Bob Ross documentary on Netflix. Okay, awesome. I'm not going to give away too much about it. All right, no spoiler alerts. No spoiler alerts, but I will say I was afraid to watch it because I didn't want anybody to say anything bad about Bob Ross ever. He is my own personal hero. Him and Mr. Rogers, I watched a lot of public television when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, and I've watched it already three times, so it's amazing. Okay, so he is, uh, that's good. I was worried about, you know, some sort of a character expose or something like that, so that's not going to happen. Not at all. For any fan of Bob, Bob Ross, they're going to love this show. Absolutely. This, this movie. Okay. I mean, he's a man, he's human. Yep. You know, but uh, as a, just dissing him, like I thought it might be, it, it was not at all. Okay. So, there you go. Got uh, some stork news. Boy, the old stork is busy as uh, we've got expecting celebrities here. Uh, J Law. J Law is going to have a baby with her husband, Cook Maroney. Uh, mm-hmm. That announcement just made a couple hours ago. And uh, the very talented and funny Olivia Munn is having a baby with the very talented and funny John Mulaney. Oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder if um, it's like a like a baby pool situation. Will the J Law baby happen at the same time as uh, that? Also, uh, this is a, f- a fun one. Uh, Matt Damon. You want to follow Matt Damon on his private Instagram? Uh, he revealed that, I guess, the other day. And, uh, well, he didn't say the... What's funny is he kind of talked about, like, the different n- number of followers that he has yeah. and how he's only done 40 posts since 2013. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, Hackers of the Universe uh, found out uh, exactly where that was, and they found his uh, private Instagram. It was supposed to be private, yeah, yeah and they found it already, yeah. so... I'm, I know, you know, oh... O D A M N Matt is what you're looking for. O D A M N Matt, and then you'll find that Does on. Does that have a blue check? No, no. That's, see, that's he wanted one, it yeah. to be. Private. Yeah. 76 followers. He's got much more than that right now. <laughs> I'm sure he does. <laughs> Rod Stewart coming up next on the Shark. That's sweeping the nation. Who are you? Try to guess the famous celebrities in just three clues or less. Everybody put your hands together for your two hosts and your two players, Sarah and A-Train. <laughs> Ow. I've, uh, this is a kind of a fun one, my theme, Sarah. I've got, you know, since, uh, you know, the NFL is back. Yes. Football, you know, New England Patriots football here. Tonight, tonight. Yeah, there was pay, uh, Brady tonight. We've got the Pats here on Sunday against the Dolphins. Well, how about we do uh, actors who portrayed quarterbacks? Famous, famous actors who portrayed quarterbacks. And uh, this guy, I didn't know that this guy was born in uh, Beirut. He was born in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, is this guy raised in Toronto? So mm-hmm. I guess technically mm-hmm. he could be, but you would never know that because you know he's pretty much when people do the, their impression of him, it's the quintessential California accent. Uh, is yeah. it Sean Penn? It is not Sean Penn, uh, of course, who played uh, Spicoli. Uh, that's that's a good guess. Uh, this guy's fifty-seven years of age. 
technically, yeah, his nationality is uh, Canadian, but the, the, he was a, a quarterback in this movie, The Replacements, where Gene Hackman was his coach. Mm, Those are know. the two biggest stars from that movie. Okay. Okay. Nope. Um, I think it would sound like, hey, how about I throw another touchdown pass? Oh, is it Keanu Reeves? It is Keanu Reeves. Was born in Beirut? Isn't that something? Wow. Yeah. Who knew? Yep. I yeah. did not know that. Or, I tell you, my Keanu Reeves impression must be dead it's on. It's spot on. I have to tell you, <laughs> it is spot on. All right. All right. Well, it's this guy's birthday today. And talk about being surprised where this guy was born. He was born in New York City, but his he is as... Granite State as they come. He bleeds live free or die, oh, baby. Yeah. Born in New York City. Uh, started out as a comedian. He's an actor. Also has musical ability. He can do it all. Who am I talking about, Train? Now, this impression, not as strong as my Keanu. <laughs> it's uh, Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler. <laughs> Happy birthday, Adam. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, he turns 56 years old oh, today. No, and, 55. Okay. My math was off. He and Keanu Reeves, probably in the you know, same high school time. I would much. say, yeah, no. I would say, yeah. yep. Went to um, Manchester Central High yeah. School, which is right in the middle of Manchester. Little green. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you, too. Are you favorite part of today so far, Train? Hugh McDougal, uh, you know, comes <laughs> in and, and we get to pick football games because you pick them as back. I mean, you know, that that, that is just like I've been looking forward to that for two months. I know, for t- the whole yeah, year. Yeah, I know. Ever since it stopped last year, you're like, oh, I know. it's gone. So the return of Hugh McDougal Thursdays. Yep. Yeah. If you missed you pick them, uh, you got game number two? Yeah, we got the Seattle Seahawks uh, beating the Indianapolis Colts, and Sarah has the Kansas City Chiefs defeating the Cleveland Browns. Good games. Right, right, right. So I hope I'm right. I hope, I, I hope I'm right. Yeah, for the I better not fourth year in a row. I know. I better not start caring about it. Because there's a little part of me that's like, oh, it's going to be so awesome to win again. Oh, yeah. You know, but I did win three years in a row, mm-hmm. you know. But so, you know, crushing you this year is is really uh, I'm getting excited about it. So <laughs> I hope that doesn't, you know, cloud my judgment when yeah. it comes to you pick them. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got the Workday Kickoff, three hours of continuous classic hits, commercial free. It's an amazing thing. Rick Springfield kicks that off next on The Shark. Classic hits for the Seacoast. Looking forward to 